Astronomers studying black holes have stumbled upon another extraordinary discovery, a deceased star hurtling away from its birth supernova, leaving a trail of radio emissions resembling a comet's tail. Dubbed PSR J1914 plus 1054G, this star is only the fourth of its kind known to scientists, a radio pulsar propelled at high velocities through space. Researchers have not only observed the pulsar itself but also the trail it leaves behind, referred to as a Bowshock Nebula, as well as the remnants of the supernova that propelled it. A team of scientists, led by astrophysicist Sara Elisa Mata from the Brera Astronomical Observatory in Italy and the University of Oxford, in the UK, has given the nebula the name Minnie Mouse. The demise of a massive star is a tremendously violent event. When these stars deplete their fuel, the fusion process that generates outward pressure to counterbalance gravity suddenly diminishes, resulting in a cataclysmic explosion. The star ejects its material in all directions, while the core collapses under gravity, forming an incredibly dense neutron star up to 2.16 times the mass of the Sun, compressed within a sphere a mere 20 kilometers, 12 miles, in diameter. In many instances, these remnants of stars can be found nestled within the nebula formed by the aftermath of their explosive demise. However, if the supernova explosion is asymmetric or lopsided, the uneven distribution of energy can propel the neutron star at high velocities through the vastness of the galaxy. Nevertheless, a unique set of circumstances must align to create a nebula resembling the Minnie Mouse. Firstly, the neutron star must be a pulsar a rapidly rotating star that earns its name from the pulsating beams of radiation that emanate from its poles, akin to a cosmic lighthouse. These beams are guided and accelerated by immensely powerful magnetic fields. Moreover, these magnetic fields also stimulate charged particles, propelling them into an energetic wind that swirls around the pulsar. At times, this wind interacts with the surrounding interstellar medium generating a phenomenon known as a pulsar wind nebula. However, if a pulsar experiences a powerful kick during its formation due to an asymmetrical supernova explosion, a bow shock is created in the direction of its motion. This bow shock acts as a barrier, redirecting and channeling the pulsar wind behind the pulsar, resembling the tail of a comet. This distinctive feature is known as a pulsar bow shock nebula, which manifests as a luminous glow. During their research, Mata and her colleagues employed the Meerkat radio telescope located in South Africa to observe a binary star system called GRS 1915 plus 105. This binary system consists of a black hole and a normal star. To their surprise, they noticed an intriguing phenomenon within their field of view, an elongated streak of light that bore a striking resemblance to a pulsar Bowshock nebula previously discovered in 1987 aptly named the mouse. Through an analysis of data collected by the ongoing Fast Galactic Plane Pulsar Snapshot GPPS, survey, astronomers made an exciting discovery. They found a previously unknown pulsar with a rapid spin period of 138 milliseconds, positioned at the forefront of the streak observed earlier. Subsequent observations conducted by the team confirmed that the pulsar, named J1914, was located precisely at the head of the nebula. Further examination of the Meerkat radio data revealed a faint circular shape situated far behind the pulsar and its tail, with the trajectory appearing to trace back to its center. The researchers identified this as the remnants of the supernova event that gave birth to the pulsar J1914. The team determined that the length of the tail measures approximately 40 light years while the radius of the supernova remnant spans around 43 light-years. They estimated that the birth of the pulsar occurred roughly 82,000 years ago, aligning with the time frame of the supernova. Tracing the trajectory back towards the center of the nebula, they calculated J1914's velocity to be a remarkable supersonic range of 320 to 360 km per second, 200 to 225 miles per second. While this velocity is not sufficient for J1914 to escape the gravitational pull of the Milky Way, it is still an impressive speed, although slower than some other runaway stars previously observed. The researchers highlighted that only three other pulsars with similar characteristics have been identified thus far. 
The discovery of J1914 and its associated nebula holds great significance, as it offers valuable insights into various astrophysical phenomena. It will aid astronomers in gaining a deeper understanding of pulsars and their winds, supernova explosions, the local interstellar medium, high-speed particles, and shockwaves generated by the pulsar wind. Additionally, this finding showcases the potential of the Meerkat radio telescope in uncovering these rare objects.